welcome back guys uh, today we are going to discuss the concurrent hash map and how it works internally uh, as you might know you know i often create uh, videos related to java j2e interview questions and materials as well as lead code solutions so if you are interested in this please subscribe to the channel uh, so yeah so let's discuss the concurrent hash map so this is a concurrent hash map is uh, created for sync like uh, in for multi-threaded environment uh, it's synchronized and it works well with multi-threaded environment and its performance is also better than the hash map in case of multiple threaded environment hash map is not thread safe but concurrent hash map is thread safe so uh, often it is recommended that if we have a any java application which is multi-threaded we should use concurrent hash map instead of the regular hash map so uh, both are implementation of the map interfaces both has the similar methods like gate put those kind of methods concurrent hash map also has that uh, our regular hash map has but the uh, the important uh, uh, difference is how internally concurrent hash map works uh, yeah and the other thing is like uh, you know the main thing is the concurrent hash map is thread safe so uh, we can you know uh, uh, just like simply use it in multi-threaded environment without any any kind of issues so let's go into little details about how concurrent hash map internally works so let me just uh, pick a color here quickly uh, so yeah so he here i drew a uh, one sample concurrent hash map with four segments so uh, concurrent map, map hash map has a concept of segments and each segment will have a array list of nodes as you can see these these nodes are the array list nodes right so key is 101800 and this this next is connected to the next node actually of the array list kind of thing you know and this 121 is next node it is connected to 151 again next node and this is the last node which is connected to the null node you know so this is a kind of a linked list nodes um, so um, so segment 0 has nothing in it that's why it is null segment 1 has three nodes so it's like 101 121 and 151 and segment 2 has only one node here with a 201 as a key and segment 3 has a, again one node with is which is 401 as the key uh, so uh, uh, the important concept in concurrent hash map is the segments so if we are actually like uh, there is no concept of locking the whole concurrent hash map table right so there is no concept of the this whole whole, whole table we cannot lock it you know for any operation so how how it works so for example uh, okay let me just pick a color here so for example if we are uh, uh, like want to uh, you know like we are updating this key 101 instead of 101 let's say we want to update this key to 501 right and uh, at that time uh, at the same time we are reading a map with a key 121 so uh, so this segment is only locked for update operations so which means that this whole segment one so the whole segment is from here to here right this is the whole segment it is locked when we are doing any kind of update operation for example if we are changing this 800 value to some 801 uh, let's say right 801 we are changing then this whole segment will be locked for updation but we can still read the other values like 121 we can read 151 we can read at the same time the updation is done so uh, that is the concept important concept of this concurrent hash map and if what if we have let's say uh, we want to update this key 101 and 121 also at the same time right same time we are updating both keys 101 and 121 so both keys are a part of the same segment segment one so in that case the segment one will will be locked and only we can update the key uh, like the object with key 101 and the object with 121 has to wait until that updation is finished right 
and once the updation of 121 is finished then only the updation of the key one key object 121 can take place because uh, uh, you know like the segment only gets locked for updation but it is always open for uh, retrieval of the information like basically when you are getting uh, you are using gate on the map it is always open so even if the updation is going on on that segment it never gets blocked so that is the important concept here um, so um, always like you know a segment is a list consists of array list nodes and they are connected to each other as you can see by next um, the other other <coughs> um, operations are like pretty much same as our hash map like the same gate and put operations and they are also in constant time uh, uh, the bigo analysis is order of one which is constant for you know any kind of put and gate operations so uh, the only main difference as we discussed is about the segments on the concurrent hash map and so if you are designing any java j2 application which is multi-threaded application and you want a key value pair to hold then you can always go for concurrent hash map this is always the first choice because they are thread safe um, and they use this concept of segments so uh, because of that their performance is also better in case of multi-threaded environment because only the segment where you are doing updates get uh, uh, locked you know the other segments are always open let's say segment one is locked but other segment segment zero segment two segment three they are always open for uh, update operations so you can do a multiple like update operations on multiple segments without blocking the whole uh, hash map like this is the whole concurrent hash map right so you you don't have to block the there is no concept of you know uh, locking the whole uh, ha concurrent hash map only the segment gets locked for update operations and for the gate operations there is no concept of locking they are always available so um, uh, so I think that's what I wanted to explain in this short video so I hope that you understood how the concurrent hash map works inside uh, so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click the like button uh, I also you know compiles questions and frequently asked questions related to Java J2E and uh, create materials and which can you know help junior and mid-level Java developers in you know answering the questions and how, how to answer those questions yeah, during the interviews so if you are interested please subscribe to the channel and uh, thanks for watching the video